Good morning, everybody. Mac here. Welcome back to the show. It is early Friday morning, in case you can't tell by my appearance and my voice. Haven't shaved yet, haven't showered yet, haven't even had my first full cup of coffee yet. But here we are, week four of the NECA Target Holothon. One more week to go after this. And with the comments on last week's video from this, I'm genuinely surprised to hear that this is kind of just how it goes for Holothon. That Holothon has always been a bit of a mess. And hats off to, you know, hats off to you NECA collectors, because from what I've gathered, it's a bit rough being a fan of NECA toys. I didn't realize they pretty much released everything all at once at the beginning of the year. I know we've seen that there's going to be drops um, coming out throughout the year, spaced throughout the year, and I think there will be some more towards the end of the year, like around the holidays, maybe. Don't really follow NECA that much, but I was, I was surprised that like the majority of their releases happen like now at the beginning, and they kind of just ride out the rest of the year especially for as popular as some of their branding is, like Gargoyles and TMNT. Which is what brings us to week four. That, other than the plush, it's basically a complete TMNT uh, release today, just like it was last week. We have the animated series two-pack with Casey Jones in the suit and a foot soldier <laughs> that is split in half, which is kind of funny, it's kind of cool. Um, it seems like a decent two-pack for something like that because I don't see somebody like maybe buying that figure on its own, but boxed in with this like alternate look for Casey Jones in the suit. I remember that episode. That episode was so ridiculous. Um, <laughs> him walking around the office making copies with that freaking Hannibal Lecter mask on. Uh, we also have from the Mirage series, we have Baxter Stockman and his Mouser, which is kind of cool. I think this is the, this might be the only time we've had like a Mirage accurate version of Baxter Stockman with like exactly from like his first appearance and it looks really good. And then of course we also have the Jack Kirby figure. Now here's the thing. The Jack Kirby figure, I've been seeing at Target for months now. Like I think I've been seeing it at my Target since probably February, I want to say, and it makes me wonder how many of those they're actually going to have for sale today online. Like, I'd be willing to bet that Kirby figure is going to be the first one to sell out, because all of this stuff is selling out at a ridiculous ri speed. It, it, this, this, this holothon really amazes me how it's handled. Um, but, like we've mentioned before, don't forget the only thing that is exclusive to Target is the animated series, the cartoon series um, line, which would be that Casey Jones and the Damaged Foot Soldier. The Kirby figure, theoretically, should be showing up at other places after Holothon. So if you miss it today, which I feel like a lot of people are, if you miss it today, don't jump to eBay and pay the scalper prices. Give it a few weeks, maybe a month or so, that like we should start seeing the rest of that stuff showing up at other places like Big Bad, like Entertainment Earth, like Amazon. I mean, we've seen this happen before. I know the Jack Kirby figure is going to be in big demand, and it's always going to be at a risk of selling out whenever it pops up. But I just feel like that one especially, people are going to try, scalpers are going to try and like just squeeze every dollar they can out of the collector to get that figure. Give it a few. I feel like we're going to see that one again. Now, the Casey and the suit and the split foot soldier, that's a different story. Something else that they have up today, which is something that I'm actually thinking of buying, is that Garfield I Hate Mondays plushie. I can relate to him so much, and I've always been a big fan of Garfield, and this plush, this plush with the coffee mug, the, the, the sleeping cap, the slippers, this is, this is me when I get out of bed. So I may actually be picking this one up, and the video on the site today, because of course everything has a video, the video on the Target site today is actually from the Kid Robot creative director, Zoe Kim, and it's about her designing this plushie. Um, it's just adorable. It's Garfield. I'm probably going to pick it up. It'll probably be their standard. Well, what do their plushes usually go for? Like $35 to $40, that's what I'm guessing. 
And just like with other releases from NECA, I'm guessing that two pack is gonna be in the $55 to $60 range and the two individual figures. I know when I saw Kirby at Target, I think he was $34.99, I think he was $35. So I'm guessing the Baxter Stockman is gonna be in that range too, the $30 to $35 range for that. Also on Target, I know I've been talking about it, I know I've been complaining about it. The Playmates Voltron is still not available, except the Black Lion. The Black Lion keeps going in and out of stock on the website, but just the Black Lion. They don't have the individual lions for sale online. And when I pull up the store finder on Target's website, they're never there. Like the closest one is actually across the state line for even some of the other lions. It's, it's infuriating. <laughs> it really is. Like even the Black Lion that's up on the website, like the closest store to me, that has that in stock is, I think, four hours away. I don't know what Playmates is doing. I don't know what Target is doing with this release, but it is really frustrating me. And I know they're supposed to be like a five pack of all of the lions and all of the accessories in one box for like $100, but it hasn't released yet. And if it really is going to be a Target exclusive, because on their Instagram, they keep saying, Playmates that is, keep saying Target release. So if it's a Target exclusive, I'm thinking that Target might be holding on to the five pack for their summer geek out, which I think is coming up, if not next month, the month after that. I forget what month it's coming, but I know it's the summer geek out is coming down the line. And I feel like that five pack they're holding on to for, for that event. I don't know. Let me, what, what do you think of that? Like, I really want that Voltron because like I want a decent sized lion Voltron. And Voltrons seem to go from $60 and then jump to like $300. <laughs> and like for $60, you get something that's like this big when it's all assembled together. And then like you jump up to like a $300 range for like the, the, the three zero version of it, which is an awesome version, but I don't know if I want to pay $300 for freaking Voltron. Like this Playmates one for a hundred bucks, like that's right in the sweet spot. Like that's what I'm looking for. So I'm really hoping that five pack goes up for the summer geek out. Also, it is May 3rd, Friday. Don't forget there is a Star Wars fan stream today at 11 a.m. Eastern time for their May the 4th release. And unfortunately, they're not going to have the HasLab release. It says on their Instagram, we know the anticipation is high for the upcoming Star Wars The Vintage Collection HasLab. While we initially planned to unveil it this week, we're taking extra time to ensure, uh, what is this, to ensure it's as spectacular as Star Wars fans expect. So, not a whole lot of info there about why it's being delayed. If I was a betting man, because of the rumors that are coming out of the video game industry right now about how hard Lucas Arts is becoming to work with. I wouldn't doubt if LucasArts has something to do with the delay because, of course, Hasbro wants to release a HasLab, their Star Wars HasLab, for May the 4th. Of course they do. It would be ridiculous for them not to. I'm sure they are fuming that they can't do it. Also, earlier this week, there were some Star Wars, uh, there were some Star Wars items that were released on uh, some of the online retailers. I think, like, Entertainment Earth, maybe Amazon, and then they were quickly pulled down. And I'm betting they were pulled down because they're saving them for today so they, they at least have something to announce during their fan stream. So I know um, Star Wars, Hasbro Star Wars Black Series and Vintage Collection hasn't exactly been um, the easiest uh, lines to collect right now, but this one I legitimately don't think is Hasbro's fault. I really feel like this is coming from LucasArts because even if it wasn't perfect, they would have digital renders. They would have something to talk about and something to show and say, hey, look, these are just preliminary images. This is what we're planning. This is what's going to change. Like, they would do that. But I think, I honestly think this time it's, it's Lucas Arts. Also, I noted that they said the Vintage Collection. I guess Black Series isn't getting any love this year either. I know that's kind of a sticking point. It doesn't seem like they've been trying a Black Series HasLab since the Rancor. And keep in mind, I am not a Star Wars collector. I'm not even much of a Star Wars fan anymore. 
So I don't even know what this HasLab might be. I don't know, like, what's the new hotness going on in Star Wars right now? Is there, a, is there like, a Disney series that this might be taking after? Is it something from Mando? Like, what do you guys think it's going to be? Is there any rumors about what it might be? Honestly, haven't been paying that much attention to Star Wars. Although, I did, uh, I did order my first Star Wars figure in a long time. Um, I ordered it from Sideshow Collectibles. I got that, I pre-ordered that Hot Toys Revan just because it's Revan. And I've never had a Hot Toy before. And that's, that's just gonna be awesome. So, that's really all I have to talk about this morning. I know I've kind of been all over the place. Um, oh, I do have other stuff coming up. I have this that we're going to be taking a look at, and I have a plan for that, something a little special for that. That is the uh, Hasbro Pulse HMS for my Hiss tank over there. So, let me know in the comments below. Once again, let me know how you think the Holothon is going. Let me know what you think about the Hasbro team not being able to unleash their HasLab today. I think that's kind of crummy that, like, if it is LucasArts, they waited until the last minute to say no. Let me know what you think it might be. Let me know. Comment down below. Don't forget to do all the YouTube things. And until next time, my friends, play well. Stay safe, stay healthy, and as always, thank you for watching.